Hey, Space.com, i got a real treat for you. We have Dr. Jim Green here. He is Mr. Mars for NASA. So let me push your buttons. How I'm going to play it? devil's advocate. Okay. okay. Is that cool with you? Sure. There are those who say by the time NASA, Meatball, mm -hmm. gets to Mars, Elon Musk and Robert Bigelow will be on the surface saying, come NASA, enjoy my sauna. What do you say? Hey, I hope that happens. But, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath. You know, NASA, NASA has a, a, a method... It has a, a cer certain approach. It has certain infrastructure and capability. Our plans are indeed to put humans down on Mars, but also bring them back. And so that really takes a look at the end-to-end -end process. So if Elon can cut corners, make something happen, we're going to learn from that. So, you know, it's not, it's not one of those things where uh, we're not going to share information. Okay, continuing devil's advocate. Now, I'm on your side, Jim, really. So, behind us, we see a rover. Yes. Rovers are getting very capable, thanks to the bright folks here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Could you be victims of your own success? After all, you are now talking to a taxpaying generation that grew mm -hmm. up with video games. Right. What are the chances those taxpayers are going to say, you can do this with robots. We can project our eyes and ears and our sensors robotically. We don't have to go in person. Mm-hmm. So, there's several things about that. One, I'm still unconvinced that humans, which have a more capable brain than anything we've ever put on a surface, can be overcome with a simple robot, even as complex as we're getting. But that aside, you know, it's not an either or. When humans actually get to Mars, they're actually gonna have their pet dog rovers running alongside of them. They're gonna be able to take a core and they're gonna be able to sli slip it in a slot and they're gonna be able to determine the mineralogy and a lot of characteristics about it, make decisions then by providing information to that astronaut, oh, I don't want that, I wanna go over here. So the, the ability for rovers to be able to provide all kinds of analytical tools in support of humans uh, in exploration is actually going to be a, an important step in our future. Okay, just one more hard question, and this one is really I don't putting it to find you. These too hard. <laughs> okay, here we go. So the space launch system. Yeah. There are those who say that the Congress of the United States, in its infinite wisdom, none of them are rocket scientists, would like very much to build a large system in certain congressional districts, and then they are giving it to you, NASA, who doesn't really want it, and and telling you do something with this. What do you say? Oh, I, I disagree completely in the sense that NASA doesn't want the SLS, okay? We need a vehicle like the SLS to be able to get well beyond Earth's boundaries, past the moon vicinity, and well on to Mars. You know, the SLS is far more capable than the Saturn V, which is, was the most capable thing that we ever put together. For, for humans uh, going to space. But the SLS also provides us an enormous opportunity to open up the outer part of the solar system. Now you may not realize this, but uh, we are going to Europa. Planetary science has now gotten the approval from uh, the, the president and, and the administration and, and funding from Congress to be able to go to Europa. And we can do that by a normal launch that does gravity swing bys over and over again and taking seven years to get there or use an SLS and get there in a third of the time. I hear you. So, so it's good so economy. For, yeah. So for me, it just blows open the outer solar system. The ability to rapidly bring those objects close at hand because we can get there quickly allows our science to mature quite rapidly and gives us a deeper understanding of the place this world is in, and that's our solar system. Very well said, sir. Last word from the captain of Mars for NASA. And for Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. Space.com. <laughs>